Hey, what's up guys? Nowadays, we do a lot of online presentations. And for me, as a student and someone who shares topics online, it's very important that I stay on topic, on target, and be confident that I'm well-versed with my own topic. There is this very cool feature with these presentation softwares like Google Slide, PowerPoint, and any other presentation softwares out there. They call it notes. While you're presenting, um, you can have these notes without them knowing that you are being guided with notes so that you can be on target with your topic. And I wasn't supposed to make a video out of this, but I just found out that some of my workmates doesn't know about the feature. So doing this one online to your audience uh, feels like you are comfortable doing the presentation and confident doing the presentation. So Though this feature is available with other presentation software, you just need to figure out how you're going to use it. So jump in and I'm going to show it to you in Google Slide. All right, here's an example of a PowerPoint or I mean a Google Slide that I have uh, entitled Comparing Study of Apache Stream Processing Frameworks for Real-Time Analytics. Now this is one of my presentation on my master's degree. So um, I've already done this one already. Now here at the bottom, you can see create speaker notes. This is where you type in those notes. Now you might not see this one. So um, the setting of you might be like this. You just go at the center and you can see a small line and you can toggle that one up and down and you can simply like maximize or minimize it. So you can type the notes that you have here. This is light of mine doesn't have notes because this is basically the title. Let's go and check some of my slides which is the introduction. And you see that there are a lot of details here that I cannot place on my slides because it's not very good if you put a lot of text in your slides. So it's much better of you to discuss these things and this will be your guide in presenting the content of your presentation so that your uh, viewers or your audience don't get bored, right? Here, uh, this is more an illustration. So you can see so that you can have a more structured way of explaining something rather than jumping from one place to another. You can create a structured way of uh, notes there where you can read and expound and keeps you on track on what you're trying to explain. Okay, so I hope you got all the idea and concept about the notes. So for me to show this one to you, I'm just going to create a Google Meet and I'll invite another account of mine. So jumping in here, this is the Google Meet that I created. I'm just going to invite the other account so that we can simulate the things that you need to do. And you can imagine how it looks like in a real world scenario of doing the uh, notes kind of thing. So where is it? So here you can see that I invited one of my accounts. I'm going to invite that. Then we go back to my slides. Okay, this is the main account. Now most people just go ahead and click slideshow. And this is basically what happens. It gives you the full screen of your presentation, all right? So that's not what you're going to do. Instead of clicking that slideshow, there is basically a drop down here where you're going to do presenter view. So when you select this one, your notes will show up, okay? So let's go ahead and click that. Click it, and then there you go. I have the presentation full screen at the back, but you can see that I have these notes right here. And if you're presenting, you wouldn't care of the background, the big screen, full screen. You care about this uh, small uh, window here, but you can maximize this one, okay? So, so that we can present this one, I need to go back here and go ahead and present the screen. So this is where you share your screen and then share. You can see that that's what your audience are looking at if you are presenting it, okay? Now I want to show you the account that I joined, which is my iPad, so that you can have an overview before I pull up my notes here, all right? So before I pull that one up, I just want to jump into that iPad that joined the, it's like the audience that joined the meeting, all right? So this is the iPad that joined, you can see me there, and uh, here basically all the audience can see my screen. I'll make this screen smaller so that you can see and going back to my main screen, I'm going to pull up my notes. You see, my notes is up here, but it's not showing on the audience, okay? So I can go ahead and make this one bigger. So as if I'm discussing something and I can see the current slide there, I can see the previous slide, 
I can also make that one bigger if I cannot see it like that. So uh, I can see what's coming next. So this is the, the present and this is the notes, right? So I can just go ahead and talk about like, you know, Apache Spark is one of the renowned Apache streaming framework because it's fast. Uh, it has a large scale processing capabilities and Spark's key features includes the RDD, which we call it the Resilient Distributed Datasets. You see, so it keeps me on track while I'm explaining my topic. And then if I'm going to go for next, I'll just click next and then here again. So as you can see, I'm guided with my notes. So if, so that's how you use the, the speaker notes and it really feels like uh, you're not moving away from the topic. You are you are well organized, you you are straight to the point, all these kinds of things, right? Anyways, guys, that's how I use the um, Google slide with speaker notes. So if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe, like the video because it helps in the algorithm and hope to see you in my next tutorial, right? See ya.